Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and today I am talking to you about my top six favorite house plants. Common, common house plants. If you guys are interested in seeing the rare or uncommon version of this, let me know in the comment section below and I will film it for you. But today I wanted to talk about plants that you can go and find at your local nursery or maybe even your big box store like today, you know? You feel me? I also want to apologize for the noise outside my window. The people who do the lawn do it all day long and I don't understand why they're so loud. Like literally, why does it take you all day to mow the lawn? It's fine. So, <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to start with number six. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible before they make more noise. So, at number six is my ZZ plant. My regular green ZZ. There she is. <laughs> so I picked this one up at Trader Joe's for like 10 bucks and I honestly genuinely did not ever think, girl why are you slapping me in the face? I did not ever think that I would want this plant. But look at her. She's so big and she's so pretty and she really honestly just caught my eye. So I had to have her and I highly suggest picking one up if you can find one that is like this big and chonky because most of my leaves tend to come in like pretty little like little babies in here but look at these and I keep her over here between my TV and my mirror so she really only gets like ambient light and I honestly never water her so if you're looking for a plant that's gonna add some drama and some foliage to your space I'm in a weird mood because I'm low-key really irritated yeah, I definitely recommend this easy. I mean, I have my ravens and stuff too, but um, this one, she's just, she's stunning. So that's that. Okay, my number five plant. I honestly can't even believe this is at number five because it used to be my number one favorite plant before I murdered her. Okay, I mean, Mealy Bugs took her life. It wasn't my fault. I was depressed and I just didn't have it in me to keep up with the mealing bug infestation that this poor queen had. So I got a new one <laughs> recently at Rose Hill Nursery and Nourishelle. I've taken you guys there before and I will definitely be taking you again. So yeah, I mean, she's adorable. I love my princess too, but I can't take her down because I won't be able to get her back up again. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But either one, the queen or the princess, it's just the queen has the variegation on the outside like a crown and the princess has her variegation on the inside like a dress that's the easiest way to remember it but they are very similar super cute i am trying so hard with all of this noise anyway my number four plant i've shown you guys in my video on how to not kill your string of plants and i am happy to report that two months later your girl is still doing great and i love her she has gotten so much longer. This is my string of pearls, my regular one. So you can definitely find this in pretty much any nursery at this point in time. And uh, she's she's got her little magnet planter and honestly, she just brings me so much joy to look at. I love watching her grow. I think that the last time you guys saw her, she was like only up to here probably. So that was about two months ago. I'll link that video for you over here. So if you have a nice bright window where you can give this top down light, I definitely recommend a cute little string of pearls. There's also a string of bananas. I have some, some dolphins, stuff like that, but I don't know what it is about these chonky round little pearls. They just get me and they look so cute up against this white pot. So string of pearls is number four. So in my third spot, I'm really excited about this plant because I grew this from literally a water propagation that I purchased a long time ago. I put it into soil, it dropped all of its leaves except for one. And then I grew that one leaf somehow magically into this beautiful plant that I just recently repotted and put up on this moss pole. 
and that's obviously my Monstera Adansonii. This is the wide form, and she's she's stunning. I mean, honestly, she just brings me a lot of joy to look at, and I really like this pop too. Super cute. So if you guys have been around, you would have seen this in, oh my gosh, I think I did like a new growth plant tour or like a house plant like whole video type situation that I can link for you if you guys want to watch it, but it's pretty old where you can see that this plant was literally one leaf that it, it probably doesn't have anymore that it was down here, but I grew this thing from one leaf and I don't know what it is that's so satisfying about that. And she's really happy. She just popped out these two leaves at the top here. And I love her. She's adorable. I have another big hanging basket that I use for propagations, but this is like my personal plant for my collection. And she makes me really happy. She lives on this shelf up here and I get to stare at her all the time. I just love the little holes. Yeah, Monstera Adansonii wide form. Okay, so we're getting to my top two. And you've been looking at my second one, second one, <laughs> this whole time. And you would have seen her already in my video on my favorite trailing plants, but I wanted to show you that I did repot her. And she's heavy and massive. <laughs> and I took cuttings. I took some substantial cuttings from her, but it's hard to tell <laughs> because she's still massive. And I water propagated them and I actually repotted them back into the top of the plant. So if you go back and watch my video on my trailing plants, I'll leave it here. You will actually see that she was pretty bare up in here. And by propagating some cuttings and putting them back in the top, I was able to give her a more full look up here. So girl got a new hair too, you know? Okay. She's always going to be one of my favorite plants. I've had this plant for probably almost two years now, and she never disappoints me. I definitely recommend if you can get your hands on one. I know that they're not as um, readily available everywhere, that the selection varies, but it is common, so hopefully you can find it. I love my Marble Queen as well. There's lots of other pothos varieties, and I just, I love her. So water propagated her just like this right back in the top of the plant boom new hairdo she's looking fantastic she got a new outfit a new hairdo she got it all done you know you know my number one plant which honestly would be this one but I feel like it's a little bit harder to find anyway she's just so pretty she's distracting me in the corner over there my number one plant that has been bringing me joy so much joy lately that i also recently just repotted is my ficus teneki got it <laughs> boom there she is look at her Ooh, miyagi fell over so yeah this is my ficus teneki and um, she's beautiful. I don't really know what else you want me to say about it. I'm totally obsessed with her variegation and this pot. This is the baby pot to the mama pot that my pothos is in. I got them at TJ Maxx. I see them at Marshalls, so on. They're really cute, really inexpensive. They have drainage, yada, yada. Highly recommend it. If you can find them, I buy them every time I can find them because I just, I really like these pots. I love the way that it looks with the creamy ah oh, oh you guys she just makes me so happy and I don't know why like I finally figured out how to keep a ficus happy you know and it makes me happy so I just I don't know and Miyagi he hangs out under here because he's just chilling having a smoke living his life doing his thing under a damn ficus look at him just chilling under a ficus. Oh, that's the life, man. I hope you grow into a big tree one day that I can sit under. So, yeah. I feel like I feel like that's it. I repotted both of these recently. Oh, they're both really heavy. So, <laughs> they're super cute. And um, they make me really happy. 
So that's it. That's it for this video. That is my top six favorite common houseplants at the moment. Although these are pretty much just always gonna be some of my favorite plants. I'm sure there will be others that will come along and I will have to add them to this list and maybe some will even come off of this list. Who knows? But these have been some of my favorite house plants for quite some time. These are the plants that really just, when I look at them, they make me happy. They make my heart feel good, you know? So that is it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Let me know what your favorite common house plant is in the comment section below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a sunflower emoji just because it's the first thing I looked at. So I appreciate you guys and I hope I see you soon. Bye. I also wanted to mention really quickly, I am doing a bit of a Hoya sale over on my Etsy shop, 20% off all of my Hoya Chelsea cuttings. So if you are looking for Hoya Chelsea, girl, I got you. Go pick one up, 20% off starting today until next Wednesday, which is the beginning of June. I'm sorry, I don't know what day it is. I think it's June 2nd, Wednesday, June 2nd. So stay tuned for more sales and maybe even some discount codes for you plant fam but otherwise i'm leaving for real this time okay love you bye